Okay, people, so I don't know why they sitting here trying to help prove or why Nick Cannon or Nick Cannon or or the power that be is trying to prove themselves that Nick Cannon is fully masculine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, when you try and try and try to prove your masculinity, you know what that means? That means you're really not masculine. I'm going to say it again. When you try and try and try to prove your masculinity, it really means you are not masculine. Nick Cannon. One thing you cannot get around is what Orlando Brown said. I don't care how many twins you make. I don't care how many children you produce. I don't care how big is your bulge in your pants. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how many times you go back and forth to Mariah Carey. How many, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. You still cannot prove, you cannot get around the fact that Orlando Brown and people, all you have to do, don't take my word for it, just Google or YouTube, Orlando Brown exposes Nick Cannon. You better hurry up and do it because you know what I'm saying. I've been, I've been, you know what I'm saying, um, exposing and and speaking on that particular topic for um, ever since it happened. So it's gonna come a point in time that they're going to take that off the internet. They're going to scrub the web, and you ain't gonna see that on YouTube. You ain't gonna see that on you know what I'm saying on Facebook. No way. You ain't gonna see that on none of social media. So if, you, if, you, if I was you, I would make sure you know what I'm saying. I have some type of record of that. But yes, Orlando Brown came out. And said that Nick Cannon gave him fellatio. You know what I'm saying? And he said a key thing. He said Nick Cannon did not do it as a man. So, my, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking logically. When Orlando Brown said Nick Cannon did not do it as a man. So that means Nick Cannon was dressed with a wig, lipstick, makeup. You know what I'm saying? A dress. And he did it. You know what I'm saying? So, no matter how, you know what I'm saying, Nick Cannon, how, no matter how big they say your bulge is, you know what I'm saying? You still cannot get around that fact that you go both ways. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to prove you when you try when a when a man tries so hard to prove his masculinity, it means that he's not even secure in himself. That he is what what you know what I'm saying, what he's portraying to be. But anyway. I'm going to let this audio play. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button as you guys come in here. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And turn on your notifications so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. And don't forget, if you want to donate, you are welcome to do that. The donation link is in the description box below. And um, by the way, since we just mentioned Miguel, uh, the, saying that he called off his divorce. Oh, wait a wife, minute. Hold up. They actually were spotted having. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so we're back. Cannon, we were talking about how Nick Cannon was trending. And then when you went to find out why he was trending, it was because of the suit that he had on that was kind of tight. And I guess you could see his print. And we talked about this earlier. And they found that regular users had a 69% lower chance of being diagnosed with Alzheimer's over the next six years. You just got to walk around with a third lip. You know, and that's another, you know, that's another thing. And that's a, that's a reason why most of these young women today, you know what I'm saying, is stuck in dead in relationships and is stuck in making bad choices in 
men. You know what I'm saying? And then they start, you know what I'm saying, talking about how bad they relate. Oh, my man ain't no good. Because y'all look for love in all the wrong things. Y'all look for, uh, you know what I'm saying, a relationship in all the wrong things. It's all it's all about a man's package. or It's all about, you know what I'm saying, if a man got dreads or if a man is good looking. or You know what I'm saying? Y'all look for love in all the wrong things. And that's why you end up where you end up going through what you end up going through. Y'all focus on this man's bulge. This man is focused on somebody else's bulge. I'm going to say that. While you guys are looking at this man in his suit and you guys are looking at his bulge, he's focused on somebody else's bulge. He literally asked Orlando Brown if he can give him fellatio. Orlando Brown said, yeah. Orlando Brown said Nick Cannon did not do it as a man. So that means Nick Cannon had a wig on, he had a dress on, he had lipstick on, he had makeup on, and he got on his knees and he gave Orlando Brown fellatio. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's out there. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and YouTube, Google. You know what I'm saying? Orlando Brown exposes Nick Cannon. You know what I'm saying? And so if Nick Cannon is bold to do that to Orlando Brown, how many other people, men, have he got on his knees and did that to not as a man? How many? He, I'm pretty sure he did that a whole lot during his little thing when he got in trouble for, you know what I'm saying, saying what he said on that podcast. Begging your pants all day long. If you're Nick Cannon, but I don't know, everybody won't have that because mm. you saw Nick Cannon went viral. <laughs> Did you just go? <laughs> He, yeah, uh, I don't know, everybody won't have that. I mean, what you mean, everybody won't have that? You know what I'm saying? Y'all focus on the wrong thing. Y'all focus on this man's junk in his trunk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all women is focused on the wrong thing. That should be the last thing you should be worried about. You should be worried about is when you look for a man, you should be the first thing you should be worried about. How well is this man is going to treat my kids? Is this man going to raise my kids to my boy to be a man? Is this man, is this man going to molest my kids? Is this man, how well is this man? That's what you women should be focused on when you are picking men. How is he going to treat your kids? How is he going to raise your kids? And I know some of you women said, well, I don't need a man to raise my kids. That's what their daddy is for. Yes, you do need a man. To raise your kids. Because let me tell you something. If that man is in your life. Guess what? That man is also in your kid's life. It doesn't matter if your kids have a father. That man is going to be in the same household and around you. So therefore he's going to also be around your children. So therefore he has to, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 do his duties as a stepfather. You know what I'm saying? If he's in your life, he's your children's stepfather. No if ands, or buts about it. And that's the problem. These damn women, you know what I'm saying, always looking for themselves to be satisfied. And then that's why their children is neglected. But anyway, let me go ahead and press play. No. Yes, you did. did not. <laughs> what did you lie? I didn't know I said mm. <laughs> That was a reaction. I wasn't talking about Nick Cannon. Well, Damon Dash would say. Pause. <laughs> All right, and QC. 
All right, so that's going to wrap that up. Like I said, people, you all know saying, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bells. You know what I'm saying? And as you guys come here, make sure you guys hit that like button. It's very important that you guys hit that like button. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And if you want to donate to this ministry, you are going to do so. The donation link is in the description box below. Let's go. Till next time, God bless you.